Who's that, you ask? Just a girl with a taste for technology. Techna, that's who. Today, I'm looking back at all the most noteworthy moments of the fairy of technology herself. This list will consider the events of Winx Club Seasons 1 through 7, as well as the spin-off World of Winx. As always, these lists are opinion-based, but didn't cover one of your favorite techno moments, then go ahead and just comment them down below. Number 5 The best part of Tecna, in my opinion, is her sarcastic nature. She's got sass, and she's not afraid to flaunt it. I couldn't easily pick a single moment that I think highlights this aspect of her most, but these moments are most certainly sprinkled in here and there throughout the show. The newest showcase of Tecna's sass would be in World of Winx, when she plays against Aisha in sports, on the playing field, and in the digital world. The most memorable of these moments for me, however, is when Tecna makes a quick analysis on the wreckage left behind by a monster in Althea, and Riven, the specialist with the most lip, makes a snide remark. I absolutely adore Tecna's response to Riven's attempt at wisecracking the fairy of technology. Number four. Tecna isn't the fairy of technology and guardian fairy of Zenith for nothing. She definitely puts her skills to some good use. How many times has she gotten the winks out of tough situations with one of her innovative gadgets or just her tech savviness in general? Need to get through a magic barrier? Done. You need to hide something? How about inside a video game? Can't quite remember a dream that you think might have deeper meaning? Never fear! Needs to search the area for something? Not a problem. The list goes on. Tecna's resourcefulness is a big part of what's gotten a wink so far. Not only that, but it's a part of who she is. And she never denies it. Not one bit. Tecna is an indispensable asset to the Winx team. And to boot, she's a pretty great friend. When she warms up to you. Number 3. There's kind of a lot of sacrifice in Winx Club now that I think of it. I chose this particular moment for Tecna because I believe it is when Tecna's character arc is finally fleshed out. Tecna enters Althea College as a very detached person emotionally. Thanks to her friends, however, she's able to open up. Sadly, Tecna is faced with a decision to give up emotion, which in essence would make her lose her friends and Timmy in order to attain the Water Stars and help save magics. As noble as she is, of course she goes through with it. What makes this even more meaningful is it shows just how much Tecna has come to treasure her feelings and relationships with others. She's given the choice between a world of feelings and a land full of logic, and in a heartbeat she chooses emotion. Sadly, she has to give it up for the greater good. She's heartbroken when she learns she has to give them up. This is definitely Tecna's time to shine, and it shows just how far she has come as a character. Number 2 Once again, Tecna is probably the Winx that has come the furthest character development-wise. She started off as distant, rather emotionless. She solely based decisions on rationality, and she didn't understand the meaning and value of relationships with others. Over time, however, she opened up to others and began to let emotions guide her choices. This unfortunately is not the case for members of her home planet, Zenith. Citizens of Zenith are connected to, well, nothing but technology. When the magic's dimension is threatened by Tritanus, the King of Zenith decides to isolate the planet from the conflict and he refuses to join the Alliance. Tecna understands the logic and rationality of his decision, but she also knows that having powerful allies is the best way to defeat a common enemy. 
She not only convinces the king to join the alliance, she also uses her Sirenic Switch she earns accordingly, in order to connect the people of her planet to the rest of the dimension. This act of selflessness shows just how far Tecna has come, and how much she values and understands the power of emotion. And lastly, the number one best Tecna moment in the series. I think we all kind of knew this had to be mentioned. Not only is Tecna's sacrifice remarkable, but there are no easy cop-outs for her earning of Enchantix. She earns it, but then she's trapped in the Omega Dimension, and we don't find out whether she's dead or not until a ways later. This moment is so powerful because writers took it seriously. I was not thinking, oh, just get to the part where she's alright already. I didn't know if she was going to be okay. The writers actually made it feel like it was totally possible that one of their own main characters was killed in the process of saving the world. Not only is this a great moment for Tecna, but it's also one of the most notable moments in the entire show in my opinion. 